I think ChatGPT just single-handedly killed a lot of AI startups. Startups like Daily News, Task, Reminders, and all of that stuff. With this one feature, which is called ChatGPT Tasks. Now, the best part about Tasks feature is that it not only can give you reminders like any other tool or alarm clock that can give you, but also it can access the internet. That means it can actually fetch data from the internet and give you data as a notification on your phone. Now, the notification part is available for Mac interfaces and Android phones. But if you are accessing ChatGPT app through a Windows, you might have to wait a little bit by the end of this quarter. Now, let me show you five use cases of ChatGPT tasks so that you can absolutely streamline your daily life. The first task is with marketing. All you got to do is click on this button and go to schedule tasks and paste it here, right? So we got Fridays 2 p.m. Send me a summary of the latest uh, news in AI. Keep it brief. Keep it, uh, okay, keep an eye out for especially surprising stories. So that's awesome. So let's do this. And there you go. We got a task open. Now it asks if you want to turn on the desktop notifications, just click on allow and you're good to go. Right. And I also have an app, so it kind of gets the job done. Right. Now we can take it one step further. Once you create the summary, create the email newsletter by Friday, 3 p.m. I'll send it to my list. Remind me to post it. There you go. This is the second task that we just created. Right. You can also create a TikTok uh reel out of it you can just give it any task it will do it for you now this use case is great for stock market traders so it goes something like this notify me about your favorite stock stock prices 9 30 a.m in the morning every day just hit enter and what it will do is you can you basically have a task which goes through the internet gives you the latest stock price and give it to you all right there you go it goes ahead and stretches for TCS stock prices every day by 9.30 a.m. And I'll get some report. Now, this particular use case may not be that interesting, but I find it pretty useful. For a retail user like me who absolutely knows nothing about tech, this is a fantastic use case. Or you can simply write, remind me every day in 7 a.m. in the morning to drink a glass of water and to do five minutes of stretching. So... Very decent. Like for a lazy guy like me, I think this is interesting. Simple task and you don't need any Siri or anything. It's just good. Yeah. I think OpenAI is really trying to become like the everyday app so that we can pretty much, uh, you know, use it almost every single day. The fourth use case is also very personal. I find it pretty useful for health, wellness and stuff. Now in this use case, we can go ahead and create health reminders, not just reminders. You can also get fitness instructions from chat GPT that you can go ahead and use. It says create a full body 60 minute workout plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. Remind me to log in my performance after each session. Give me pulse, push, pull, leg splits. So it basically gives me push, pull, leg splits and create a task. I can see that task and I can actually go ahead and do the work. Now, the final use case that I have for you is incredibly useful for students where you can go ahead and, uh, you know, learn something new. It can be as simple as every day at 8 a.m. Remind me to practice my Chinese. Give me a training session and then give me a task. All right, practice Chinese daily at 8 a.m. So there we go. We have five use cases for uh, chat GPT uh, tasks. And I know this is a very different video than most videos that I create. This is not, there is nothing to do with marketing and lead generation and whatnot. Uh, actually, if you become creative, you can have a pretty decent use cases for marketing and lead generation. Imagine if you ask the chat GPT, to give you a list of companies looking for uh, sales directors every day at 10 a.m. It gives you the list. You can search for those and then find the CEOs and say, hey, I saw you are looking for ABC. It can be very personalized, right? So if you are interested in learning how to use GPT tasks for everyday uh, marketing and sales stuff, then subscribe to this channel and I will be updating more videos very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching.